Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about Xenoblade X and how it's probably not going to come to Switch. It's time to let the dream go, um, which is sad to say because uh, like every Nintendo Direct I've been praying and hoping for a Switch port of Xenoblade X or even anything Xeno related but I think uh, at least with Xenoblade X not coming anytime soon. So yeah let's just get right into it. So in this recent Nintendo Direct of course um, it, it was a direct for sure. <laughs> uh, it was probably the most uh, average, the most mid direct there ever was, which is saying something because I thought the last one in June was already pretty mid, uh, but this one was even more so because of the fact that we didn't even get really any new game announcements. Most of the big announcements were remasters or remakes or whatever of like, thousand your door which is a big deal don't get me wrong but still um in like a good direct uh that will be like the first announcement not the last announcement in my opinion um so yeah like there was a whole bunch of remakes remasters all that stuff um but the one thing we didn't see was you know with x which made me really sad that they're uh, that they're giving um mario rpg fans the remake remastered trade man but not a xenoblade fans but um i think that's okay because here's the thing it seems like there will be a next nintendo console really soon within the next year it will probably be announced and maybe even released you know and according to some sources it will be around the same power level as the ps5 and xbox uh, series X, you know, so that's cool, but I think it would be a cool idea to have the Xenoblade X be a good showcase for the next generation of Nintendo consoles, or it could be like 4K, 60 or whatever. Uh, I think that would be really good. Um, now, not to say that I don't think it would be possible to have it on Switch. I mean, Xenoblade X was on the Wii U, uh, and the Wii U is less powerful than the Switch, and it worked perfectly well on Wii U. People like to joke that it didn't work well on Wii U, but it did. Uh, so it would work totally fine on Switch. Uh, and, and like, even if they wanted to do a showcase for that for the next generation of consoles, they could easily just do like an update or like a paid option to uh, see uh, the game in like 4k or whatever but even still having it be fully developed for the next console would uh, be a good showcase and plus we are nearing the 10th anniversary for Xenoblade X it came out uh, I believe December of 2015 uh, so like you have like about what like two years away basically fully maybe even a little bit more but um I think that will be a good game to have uh, on the next generation of consoles and be like a 10th anniversary thing just like uh, Xenoblade uh, 1 was definitive edition was for the 10th anniversary for uh, At least in Japan. It was the 10th anniversary. Um, I, I don't remember exactly when Xenoblade X came out uh, in Japan. I believe it was a bit earlier uh, By a few months so I could have lined up more so for mid 2025 uh, for like a remaster. So I think that makes perfect sense. Uh, just like Xenoblade Definitive Edition. Um, but yeah, um, but I'm just saying this just because of the fact that it just makes more sense to me after they didn't give us the, a remaster, uh, but they gave other series remasters or whatever. Uh, they also talked, gave Pikmin, Metroid, you know, remasters. Uh, but not Xenoblade. They gave us Xenoblade 1. Uh, so, uh, look, uh, I know some people, some Xenoblade fans, uh, were like going like, why are you expecting something from Xenoblade X? You know, we just got the DLC uh, for Xenoblade 3. While that's true, one, I wasn't expecting it to come out this year, obviously. I was thinking maybe next year it could come out, maybe even like in early next year. Uh, but it will be announced in this direct, you know? Um, again, similar to Xenoblade 1. Um, but also, in case you don't know, Xenoblade 1 uh, Definitive Edition was made by Monolith Soft, but like a separate team than the people that were making Xenoblade 3. Uh, they basically split up the teams into like three parts. One to work on Tears of the Kingdom, you know. Uh, one to work on Xenoblade 3, which is their 
bigger project and I want to make Xenoblade 1. And it's been a while since we've uh, seen that division of the team uh, put out a game which was uh, Xenoblade 1 on Switch. So I thought it makes sense to uh, for Xenoblade X to be announced soon uh, and then released by early next year. But it's clear that that's not happening. I think this was the last chance for uh, Xenoblade X to be revealed for the Switch. And now I just think we should just expect uh, it to come out for the next console. Again, especially concerning the f considering the fact that uh, the 10th anniversary is coming up uh, in Japan and it will be a good thing to do just a, a repeat of uh, Xenoblade uh, 1 Definitive Edition, you know. Um, so yeah, it sucks to say I really wish we could have gotten Xenoblade X on Switch. It deserves to be you know, uh, remember it deserves to have a second chance at life. I made a whole video talking about wh why that game deserves uh, a like remaster, you know? It's a good game, it is. It has its issues, like the text is way too small, um, but that's an issue with like a lot of other games too. But for some reason, out of all the other Xenoblade games, Xenoblade X has the worst text size. The mechanics aren't explained that well. There's like loose ends in the story uh, for the ending. Um, so a definitive addition for Xenoblade X would be perfect. Um, it deserves to be remembered, but I think at this point in time, it's just time to call it quits and say, um, yeah, not happening. Uh, the dream is dead, you know? Um, we, I think it's very possible we will get it for the next console though. Again, decent showcase, 10th anniversary. Um, but would have I have liked it sooner? Of course, of course. I think it would have worked well on Switch. I don't like the people that say, oh, just wait for the next console. It wouldn't even work on Switch. You, it worked on Wii U and the Switch is more powerful. Are you stupid? Oh my God, some people, man. Um, but yeah, it's, it's done. Um, now that's not to say we can't expect any Xeno stuff, you know, for the next directs, you know. Um, when will the next console be announced? I don't know, maybe uh, by March uh, of next year. Maybe we'll hear something by then. I don't think it's gonna be released, obviously, by then. Um, but like, maybe it'll be announced by then. So, um, maybe in like a February or March direct, uh, we could of course get the next console. Uh, announced though I think it'll be its own you know, its own separate thing but maybe we could still have another Xeno thing to tie us over again like Xeno Gears remake remaster or just a simple port I would be fine with that Xeno Saga trilogy being brought over you know I just want to play those classic Xeno games uh, again Xeno Gears is stuck on the PS3 and PS Vita to buy them digitally um, the Xeno Saga games are stuck on the PS2 uh, and, and like I could emulate them I could very easily emulate Xeno Gears on my Wii U for sure I'm not sure about Xeno Saga but even then I I talked about this in another video but I prefer playing them legally and plus it's like too much hassle for me um, especially with Xeno Saga so yeah I'm still gonna hope and pray for those other Xeno games, but Xenoblade X, I'm, I'm done hoping for it. Uh, whenever the next console is revealed, uh, I will then start hoping for it again. Um, but until then, yeah, just expect it to come out for uh, maybe the 10th anniversary, you know, which is sad to say, but uh, my god, it will have a chance to sign. I, I know it will. Xenoblade X deserves to be played and it deserves to be remembered. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for the video. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, like, subscribe, play some Xenoblade, and I'll catch you guys next time for more. Peace.